Guadalupe Colonel. Yes. Good morning. Good morning. Please come with me. Okay. So, where are you from? I'm from Mexico. Okay. So, how are you today? Fine. This is my office. Oh. Please put your purse on the middle chair. Please remain standing and raise your right hand. Do you solemnly swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? So help you God? Yes, I do. Please have a seat. Thank you. May I see your green card and your driver's license or California ID card? Yes, here you are. Cool. Thank you. Okay. Please uh, stand by my desk and raise your right hand. Do you solemnly swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you God? Yes, I do. Please be seated. Thank you. I need to see your alien registration card, a photo ID of your driver's license, or your driver's license. Okay. Here you are. Very good. Thank you. Thank you. What is your full name? Uh, it's Eva Maria Martinez Lopez. And do you want to change your name? No, I do not. Do you still have the same address? Yes, I do. And is your what is your phone number with the area code? Area code 831-449-2140. And what is your date of birth? It's 429-57. And what is your social security number? It's 550-898500. And how long have you been a permanent resident? 22 years. Good, thank you. Do you still live at 144 North Hebron Street in Salinas? No, I don't. What is your current address? My current address is 1206 Gardner Avenue in Salinas. What is your zip code? My zip code is 93905. When did you move to your new address? January 1st, 1999. When did you become a lawful permanent resident? August 18, 1984. Where were you born? In Mexico. How tall are you? 5'3". Thank you. Okay, now it's your turn to answer some questions. Are you ready? What is your full name? Do you want to change your name? Do you still have the same address? How long have you lived at your current address? What is your date of birth? What is your phone number with the area code? When were you admitted as a lawful permanent resident? Now let's look at What's your current address. 1314 Tampico Avenue. Yes. Is that a house or apartment? It's a house. How long have you lived at your current address? For two years. What was your previous address? 916 Del Monte Avenue. 
How long did you live there? For seven years. How long have you lived in California? Uh, 29 years. Have you lived in any other states? Yes. In what states? Arizona. Do you intend to reside permanently in the United States? Yes, I do. Do you still work for the same company? Yes, I do. How long have you worked there? Six years. Okay. What is the name of your employer? Fresh Express. And what do you do in your job? I check up the quality of the salads. Quality of the salads, good. Is your husband working? Yes, he is. Okay, and what does he do? He is sanitation manager. A sanitation manager, okay, great. Are you working now, Letty? Yes. Where do you work? AMPM. What is your position there? Cashier. How many years have you worked there? One year. Where did you work before that? At 24 Hour Fitness Center. What did you do there? Um, I used to work at the Child Care Center. Do you still work at Escamilla and Sons? No, I don't. Who is your new employer? Mm, Ma'am Becky. What is the address? Here's my magic stuff. Thank you. Thank you. When did you start work there? Um, November 15, last year. Is your husband employed? Excuse me. Can you please pay you a bit, please? Is your husband working? No, he is retired. Thank you. Now is your turn to answer some questions. Are you ready? Do you still work for the same company? Are you working now? What is the name of your employer? How long have you worked there? What do you do? Very good. The next section is about your absences. How many times have you been out of the United States since you became a permanent resident? Four times. When was the last time you left? November 26, 1999. When did you return? January 2, 2000. What was the reason for your trip? Vacation. Have you ever been out of the United States for more than six months? No, I haven't. Since becoming a permanent resident, have you been out of the United States? Yes, I have. Since you filed your petition for naturalization, have you been out of the United States? Yes, I have. When was your last trip out of the U.S.? June 6, 1998. How long were you gone? For three weeks. What was your destination? Ica, Peru, South America. Now is your turn to answer some questions. Are you ready? How many times have you been out of the United States since you got your alien registration card? Since you mailed your application for citizenship, have you been out of the United States? When was the last time you left the country? 
When did you return? What was the reason for your trip? Had you ever been out of the United States for more than six months? Very good. The next section has questions about your family. Are you single or married? I'm married. Does your wife live with you? Yes. And how many times have you been married? Uh, only one time. And your wife, how many times has she been married? Uh, only one time, too. How many children do you have? I have uh, three children. Does your wife have a permanent resident card? Uh, no, she is a, a citizen. Okay. okay, thanks. All right, Maria, what is your marital status? I am married. You're, you're married, okay. And how many times have you been married? Two times. All right. And when did you get the divorce from the first husband? January 16, 1972. All right. And he was also a permanent resident? He never came to the United States. Okay. How many children do you have? Five. Five. And they were all born in the United States? Two in Mexico and three in the United States. Okay. All righty. And how old are they? Luis is 13, Andrea is 12, Juan is 7, Symmetry is 6, and Juan Jesus is 1. Okay. Valeria, are you still married to Victor Mora? Yes, I am. Is he a permanent resident or a U.S. citizen? He is a permanent resident. And you have two children, is that right? Yes. Where were they born? Excuse me? When or where? Where? In the United States. Do they live with you? Yes, they do. Have you ever been a member of the Communist Party? No, I have not. Have you ever been a prostitute or procured anyone for prostitution? No. Have you ever sold or smuggled controlled substances, illegal drugs, or narcotics? No, I haven't. Have you ever been married to more than one person at the same time? No. Have you ever gambled illegally or received income from illegal gambling? No, I have not. Have you ever given any false or misleading testimony to any government official while applying for any immigration benefit or to prevent deportation or removal? No, I have not. Have you ever claimed to be a U.S. citizen? Excuse me? Have you ever told anyone that you are a U.S. citizen? No, I haven't. Have you ever voted in the United States? No, I have not. Did you vote in Turkey? Yes, I have. Are you going to vote when you become a citizen? Yes, I will. Very good. Have you ever persecuted any person because of race, religion, national origin, membership, or political opinion? No, I haven't. Have you ever been a member or been associated with a terrorist organization? No. Have you ever advocated the overthrow of any government by force or violence? No. Have you ever helped anyone enter or try to enter the United States illegally? No. Have you ever been associated in any way with the Nazi government of Germany? No. Have you ever been declared legally incompetent or been confined to a mental institution within the last five years? No, I haven't. Have you ever been deported? No. Did you register with the, with the Selective Service? Uh, what was it? Selective Service. It's our draft board. Uh, no, I was too old. Okay, okay. Are you a member of any organization or club? Uh, yes, I am. What group do you belong to? 
uh, team starts. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Do you pay your taxes every year? Yes. Do you owe any federal taxes? Mm -hmm. Excuse me, what's on? Do you need to pay money in taxes to the U.S. government? Oh, no. Okay. Have you ever been arrested? No. Have you ever been stopped by the police? Mm -hmm. Yes. How many tickets have you received? One. Okay. What was the offense? Speeding. Did you pay the fine? Yes. Very good. Thank you. You're welcome. Do you pay your taxes every year? Yes, I do. When did you file your last federal income tax return? In March last year. Okay. Since becoming a lawful permanent resident, have you ever failed to file a required federal, state, or local income tax return? Uh, no. Do you owe any federal, state, or local taxes that are overdue? No. Okay. Have you ever been in jail? No. Have you ever been cited, charged, or convicted of a crime or offense? Well, a long time ago I received a ticket. Okay, and what was the reason? It was for my overspeeding and my brother, he had an open can beer in the back seat of the car. Did you pay a fine? Yes, I did. When did you receive the ticket? Excuse me, when? When did you receive the ticket? In March 1995. And where did you receive the ticket? In Denver. Okay. Were you ever put on probation? Uh, no. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Do you support the United States Constitution? Yes, I do. Are you willing to take the full oath of allegiance to the United States? Yes, I am. And do you know what an oath is? Yes, I promise. Are you willing to perform non-combatant services in the armed forces if the law requires it? Excuse me, can you repeat the question? Are you willing to perform non-combatant services in the armed forces if the law requires it? Yes, I am. Thank you. You're very welcome. Do you believe in our form of government? Yes, I do. If the law requires it, are you willing to bear arms on behalf of the United States? Yes, I am. Do you understand to bear arms? What does it mean to bear arms? I I can be a soldier. I fight, I fight for the United States. Are you willing to perform work of national importance under civilian direction? Yes, I am. Thank you very much. Thank you. It's about U.S. history and government. Here is a list of questions. I want you to read each one and tell me the answer. What is the capital of the United States? Washington, D.C. Who makes federal laws? Congress. How many U.S. senators are there? 100. We elect a U.S. Senator for how many years? Six years. From what country do we get our independence? England. What did Martin Luther King Jr. do? Um, he fought for the civil rights. What is the name of the national anthem? Star Spangled Banner. What ocean is on the west coast of the United States? The Pacific Ocean. Where is the Statue of Liberty? In New York. Name two national U.S. holidays. Independence Day and Thanksgiving. Very good. Thank you. <laughs> okay, now Maria. 
I'm going to ask you some questions pertaining to U.S. history and government. Name one branch or part of our government. Uh, Congress. Okay, good. In what month do we vote for the president? Uh, in November. And what do we call the first ten amendments of the Constitution? The Bill of Rights. Right. If the president can no longer serve, who becomes president? Uh, the vice president. Correct. If both the president and the vice president can no longer serve, who becomes president? Uh, the speaker and the house. Who vetoes bills? Uh, the president. What is the supreme law of the land? The constitution. When was the constitution written? Uh, 1787. How many amendments does the constitution have? 20, 27. Name one American Indian tribe in the United States. Cherokee. Good. Okay, now I'd like to ask you some questions about our government. What is the highest court? Um, the Supreme Court. Who is the Chief Justice of the U.S. Supreme Court? Uh, Sir uh, John Roberts. What are the two parts of the U.S. Congress? Mm, that's uh, the Senate and the House of uh, Representatives. Very good. What is the rule of law? Uh, no one is above the law. Name one right or freedom from the First Amendment. It's, uh, freedom of speech. There were 13 original states. Name three. Uh, Maryland, New York, and Virginia. Name one reason colonists came to America. Uh, religious uh, freedom. What did Susan B. Anthony do? Uh, she fought uh, for women's rights. Name two ways the Americans can participate in their democracy. That uh, one is to vote and the other one is to, mm, to join a community group. What stops one branch of government from becoming too powerful? Um, that will be checks and balances. Okay, very good. Thank you. You're welcome. Finally, we will ask you to write some sentences. The CIS usually asks the applicant to write one sentence, but in some cases you will be asked to write two sentences. Listen carefully. Okay, I would like to dictate a sentence to you and have you write it in English for us. Are you ready to do that? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. I would like you to write, I love my family. Okay. Very good, very yeah. good. Thank you. Rosalio, I will need to dictate a sentence to you. Are you ready? Yes. Okay. What color is your car, Rosalio? My car is blue. Okay. And can you write that for me on this piece of paper? Yes. That's very good. So, okay, thank you very much. Elsa, now I'm going to ask you to write a sentence for me. Here's a piece of paper and a pen. Are you ready? Yes. Okay. Please write, all citizens have the right to vote. All citizens 
have the right to vote. Have the right to vote. To vote. Thank you. Good. Men should wear a suit and tie, and women should wear dressy clothes. This sends the message that U.S. citizenship is really important to you, and this day is one of the most important days of your life. Some applicants have arrived at the CIS office in dirty work clothes, so you can see how it might go. Hi, what's your name? My name is Linda Kim. I've seen you've been a permanent resident here for 17 years. What did you wait so long to become a United States citizen? I was busy working, raising my children, and learning English. That's not much of an excuse. Excuse me? Uh, I'd like to speak to the supervisor. Why is that? I don't feel comfortable with you. I'll get my supervisor. Hello, I'm the supervisor. I'll be getting you a different examiner. Thank you.